After serving in Iraq, a North Idaho veteran is facing battle once again, this time with cancer that has been deemed untreatable. Well, Kelly O'Brien says the fight, though, is far from over as he continues to battle cancer. His hometown of Priest River is fundraising for him so he can experience the adventures he's always loved. KXY 4's Anusha Roy has his story from North Idaho. For nearly a year and a half, Kelly O'Brien was in Iraq, serving with the U.S. Army. I went in as a tanker. Um, but over there, I ended up being infantry. Part of his duties, clearing routes of IEDs. Even though his army days ended in 2006, today he's in the middle of another fight. I thought I was having a heart attack, chest pain. Earlier this year, O'Brien was diagnosed with synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. Cancer O'Brien thinks developed because of his time in Iraq and exposure to chemicals. And we were clearing roads every day with you know, IEDs going off and these things, you know, we know we're full of uh, chemicals. The veteran was being treated in California, and after six rounds of chemotherapy, the mass refused to shrink. Doctors weren't hopeful. They told me that um, I'm playing a chess game. So, I believe... Um, I still got time. Now the community of Priest River is working to make sure he can keep up his adventurous spirit, whether that means bungee jumping or cliff jumping. He's a vet. He's, he's put his life up for us. You know, he's, he's sacrificed in, for my freedoms. Roxanne Whittakin doesn't know O'Brien personally, but today she was putting up this donation jar, one of many to help fundraise for the 31-year-old. Well, this donation jar was just put up here at the Ranch Club Golf Course and Restaurant, and we're told within minutes of the jar coming out, four people came up to donate, and there's already a nice, tidy pile of dollar bills. I'm blessed, you know, that there's these people out here that don't even know me, and they're wanting to do stuff. For me. But for the former soldier, it's much more than just his fight. He doesn't regret his time overseas, but wants people to know there are others just like him in need of the same care and affection. There's other people out there, you know, other guys coming back, and they're coming back with problems. In North Idaho, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.